Hello there, everyone. How are you doing this morning? It's so good to be here with you. Let's get all connected in. There we go. Because, you know, you don't want to hear me twice, right? <laughs> okay. Hello there. Hello there. Um, yes, it's Patricia Hayes here with Coffee Time Career Chat. Coming in a little late because there's so much going on this week. So I still wanted to honor the Monday morning coffee time and just check in real quick. But later on in just about an hour, we will be starting with the Diversify Your, um, your Professional Relationships Masterclass. So I am going to be quick on here as I finish preparing for that five-day session, which I'm super excited about. Speaking of that, here is the thing for today. First, let me back up, and if you're joining for the first time, uh, again, my name is Patricia Hayes. I am an executive uh, executive advisor, um, career empowerment coach, and authentic networking strategist. And that basically means that I love working with people, especially women, who are looking to up-level their careers by building up their professional and executive presence, as well as if you are looking to uh, to strengthen your professional network for pro professional and business purposes. I have my own strategies and techniques that I teach people on the regular in order to build sustainable um, networks authentically. Um, and that is really important. Sustainable and authentic. <laughs> That's what we want to do for the long haul, okay? All right, so here is the conversation for this morning. We're Speaking of diversifying, let's talk about that mid-year check-in on your professional network. Two major things. Number one being how consistent are you being with engaging with your network right now? And two, how diverse is your network right now? And I ask these things because there are, of course, a couple of things that I'm working on that related to it, but I realized that we hadn't had that conversation explicitly. And so that's what I wanted to touch on here today. As um, you approach this middle of the year season, and it's always a good time for retreats and reflection, here are a couple of things that you can focus on professionally um, as you look forward to the latter half of the year. Now, of course, these conversations are relevant any time of the year, but you know, people like to do those beginning of the year, mid-year, and end of the year check-ins. So this is a great time to do that. First things first, what, um, what does your network look like? And um, as we're talking about this this week on this masterclass, we're talking about diversifying your network. Yes, I'm talking about it in terms of um, race and ethnicity, but I'm also talking about it in terms of industry, social uh, class, social economic uh, class, um, gender, all of those things because they make a difference. If you are an engineer, let's say, looking to build a multi, multi-million dollar business, but the only people you hang out with are other mid-level engineers who are working in corporate, guess what? You're going to have a little problem with your network and getting to where you need to be. In order to get to where you need to be, which is you know, the, the world of multi-million dollar company owners, you have to diversify your network. That means you need to start talking to business people. You need to start, start talking and running in circles with people who have built million dollar companies. You need to start talking to people who have other areas of expertise in HR, in um, marketing. I mean, all these other types of things. And this is something that I've always stressed, but in particular over the course of the last year with everything that's gone on, it, <coughs> excuse me, it struck me as a, as a need that has gone unmet. It has struck me as a need that's gone unmet 
because people get in their little silos, they get in their little bubbles, and God help us when that bubble gets burst by something, whether it's a job loss, uh, an international pandemic, um, social unrest, all kinds of things that can cause your networking relate networking bubble to get burst. And here's the thing, I don't want that to happen for you. Because when your networking bubble gets burst, it means that you don't have anything to land on. Like you're you're walking around without a solid foundation professionally when it comes to your relationships. Because you've over relied on one type of thing. Guess what? Guess, you know, when we're talking about building companies, what is one of the things they talk about when you're building your 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 um, financial portfolio and all types all kinds of things like that, right? They're talking about what how have you diversified your portfolio? Is it all is it all landed in one thing, in one type of thing? And if it is most financial advisors will say, hey, we need to work to diversify this because you don't want a bubble to hit and you get hurt as a result. Same thing applies to your professional network. And guess what? Even more so because your professional network is the equivalent of money in your pocket when it comes to your career. So let that sink in. So if you don't want to have money in your pocket for your care for career for the long term, then keep going the way you're going. But for the average Joe, you need to diversify who you're hanging out with, who you're you know seeking out opportunities with, who you're sharing your opportunities with in order to grow for the long term. Now, you know, you go and say, well, gosh, look at those multimillionaire and all those people who are running those big, you know, large companies now. I'm like, yeah, you can look at them, but you're looking at them post work. You're looking at where they are after they built the thing. All right. And that's a different conversation. But even then, I would hedge to say that their professional network looks, yeah, absolutely. It's going to look way different than ours, right? You know, they're running with CEOs, um, venture capitalists and all of that type of thing. But when they need certain work done, they're going to someone who specializes in that thing. They're not relying on their venture capitalist buddy or their fellow, you know, presidential or CEO to do it for them. You know, so it doesn't matter what level you're at. Your network needs to diversify and be diversified and be expanded in that way so that you can build and grow your career and, and, and or your business. And, you know, later on this week, we're going to be talking more about why diversification and expansion are not the same thing. That's a whole other thing. You got to be inside the masterclass to get that one. All right. So that's one element that you can work on and think about over the course of the next month in this mid-year time period. Okay. What does your network look like? You know, is it all vanilla or do you need to get some other flavors in there in order to make sure that you have the reach that you need, particularly post-pandemic? Okay. The second area is on nurturing your network and being consistent about it. Most people don't nurture sufficiently and they're absolutely not consistent because why people quote say, I hate networking. Well, if you reframe it and think of it in terms of building your professional relationships and strengthening them, then that is a different perception than the classic happy hour networking where it doesn't seem productive or seem to have any real rhyme or reason to it because a lot of times it didn't for some people um you have to be very strategic and deliberate about building your relationships and about nurturing them and so that's the other thing that i encourage you to do at this mid-year point which is to sit down Sit down, take the time to actually nurture your relationships, identify a list of people for you to contact, to get in touch with, to reconnect with. This is an absolute time of reconnection right now um, as things start to slowly open up. So as that happens, I encourage you to be deliberate about pursuing those efforts, about reconnecting with people in a way that will help you 
to strengthen your relationships, find out what people need and help them get it. Did you, did you hear what I said? I said, focus on other people's needs first, not your own. Because when you share, then you will be getting an opportunity to share your needs and then that will happen for you. But focus on addressing the needs of others and you would be amazed at what comes back to you. All right. So that are, um, that is the quick and dirty tip for today as we approach this mid-year season. I'll probably share a little bit more with you in the coming weeks. Um, if you want to jump on the bag wagon, however, and to get going right away, here's what I advise you to do. Number one, it is not too late for you to join us for the Diversifying Your Professional um, Relationships Masterclass. It starts today at 11.30 a.m. Central Time. If you can't make it, no worries. Sign up and so that you get on the mailing list and you will get access to the materials on a daily basis, including the recordings that you can go back and binge watch at your leisure over the course of the next two weeks because it all goes away July 9th, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing, hey Maggie, the second thing is um, is uh, if you will go and check out the uh, brand new a uh, 30-day consistency challenge networking edition. I am so excited about this, y'all. So I've just launched this and we're running it for the month of July. And I'm super excited about this lovely calendar. It's gonna be mini course style. And both, uh, both of these have small fees. So the Diversifying Your Masterclass is 97, excuse me, yes, Diversifying Your Network Masterclass is $97 and the 30-day um, the consistency challenge for a networking edition is, I believe, $49, all right? And you can access both of those things uh, when you go to patriciavhayes.com uh, uh, and you can have direct access to that, to the class. And I believe if the networking one is not up, it'll be up today. So, or just drop me a DM and I'll send you the link directly because it, it the, the link is live. The question is, where is it posted right now? It's been a busy, busy long weekend. All right. So those are the things that are going on. I invite you to join us, to share with us because this boat is sailing. What is it? Boat is sailing, car is running, whatever an horrible analogy else I can use, right? Um, but we are taking off. That's the point. Let's use the airplane analogy. We're taking off and it's going to be a very busy uh, remainder of the year that I'm super excited about all the opportunities that are going to be coming your way and that I will get to share with you all. So that is it. Think about how you're going to diversify your network and how you're going to nurture your network um, over the course of this uh, summer. And uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need some help making that happen. All right. Take care, everyone. And I will talk with you again soon. Bye bye.